So with the one and a quarter back squat, we're working on coming out of that bottom position. So bracing and breathing is paramount so you don't lose tension when you come out of the bottom position. So I like the cue of squeezing the bar down to your back or pulling the bar into your back, driving your elbows together so that creates some stiffness in your upper back, and then taking a big breath of air in so we can kind of lock up our upper extremity. And then we want to have the weight on the on the front half of our foot or think about pushing our big toe into the ground. So when we go to bend, that allows our knees to bend and our hips to follow, and it improves the movement pattern, and it feels a lot more natural for most people. So as I come all the way to this bottom position, I'm going to come out, quarter, all the way down, and I'm standing back up. Side view, and get another example, full depth. I'm going to come up, quarter, back to the bottom position, and all the way up. And again, as I mentioned earlier, this is a drill that's really easy to lose your breathing and bracing, which kind of makes the rep feel sloppy, results in your upper back rounding and putting a lot more load in the back half of our body. So we want to be really, really mindful of our bracing with our trunk, pulling our elbows toward each other, squeezing the bar down into our upper back, big breath of air, keeping that chest upright. So that way we can load those legs in the um, in kind of stacking that with those good breathing patterns of big breath in at the top, perform the rep, blow your air out on the way back up with each rep.